Hi friends, I am Dr. Karamat. This is Scientific Doctor channel. In this channel, your health related queries are answered via short videos which are released every week. If you want to see such videos, kindly subscribe to channel and if you have any doubts, kindly post it in the comment section. I will try to answer them in subsequent videos. Today's video is a special video about why there are so many deaths reported after the COVID vaccines. Now, whenever these vaccines are given, we read in media that such many deaths have happened. Are these deaths happening because of the vaccine? If so, can the vaccine be taken safely by ourselves and to our near and dear ones? Let us see the answer. First of all, we have to understand. So, whenever we say about vaccines, they have to pass through clinical trials before they are approved and they are given to people at large. So, vaccines essentially undergo preclinical trials like in experiments, animal experiments. So, after that, in humans, they undergo three phases of clinical trials. Phase 1 is about safety. Phase 2 is about safety as well as immunogenicity, meaning how well the vaccine can elicit an antibody response. So, after giving a vaccine, how well the body responds by producing antibodies. Phase 3 is about effectiveness. It is not enough that you produce antibodies, but it is also important that the disease in question is actually prevented. So, even after that, even after getting approval, even after marketing, what we call as phase 4 or post-marketing surveillance is done. During this phase, rarer side effects may come into light. So, all the persons who are given are being followed through a passive surveillance system. Any adverse event which happens for a certain time, like say 30 days, are monitored. So, if a person who has taken a vaccine, say, dies of suicide, or by poisoning 15 days following a vaccination this also has to be reported this is reported under the classification of VAERS vaccine adverse events reporting system and these are called adverse events following immunization AEFIs so there is a robust mechanism for monitoring all this so by this mechanism all adverse events no especially the severe ones and the serious ones are reported whether they are because of the vaccine or not because of the vaccine they must be reported so any death will be reported following a vaccine for at least 30 days let us take particularly the example for covid vaccines no we now know more than one crore doses of covid vaccines have been given in india in the last one month and few days so, we all know about crude death rate, meaning for every thousand persons living in one year, there will be seven deaths happening. This is just a broad indicator, crude death rate for India. What does that mean? So, if you have thousand persons living in an year, you will have seven deaths happening across all ages. So, let us assume this population of one crore who have been given vaccine, no, living in a district. So, in this population, in one year, there will be 70,000 deaths happening. In one month, you will have 5,833 deaths happening. So, whether they are given a vaccine or not given a vaccine, in normal course of time, roughly around 5,833 deaths would have happened. You might say, no, no, older people are more likely to die. Younger children, because of their diseases, are more likely to die. So, you can have deductions based on age-specific mortality rates. So, even considering this, there will be deaths happening because of natural causes. So, if they have been given vaccines, still they will be reported as vaccine adverse events reporting system. So, once they are reported, but they will subsequently be investigated as to the causality, whether the vaccine is really cause this death and will subsequently be reported. So, what you see immediately in media that such and such death 
has happened following vaccination may not be causally related to the vaccine but just a coincidental reaction. I am not defending that the every vaccine is safe or effective. It is just to know that mere reporting of deaths following a vaccine need not be causal and most often it will be coincidental. All these data are made public through government agencies and we can be rest assured that any deaths following a vaccine if it is proved causal will be investigated and be dealt accordingly. Such vaccines which are causing deaths will be withdrawn from the market. So we can safely say that these deaths though reported in media may not always be causal and we can safely take these vaccines. Regarding the effectiveness of vaccine, yes they have been studied. Some are because of considering the urgent nature of the pandemic are given on a trial basis but they are already proven safe and immunogenic meaning antibody levels are produced and regarding the effectiveness there have been already class 3 studies completed for some for other vaccine this is being done concurrently there is no problem with the safety and these you no know, media reports regarding death need not be taken at face value always believe the scientific information given by the government as well as the advisory bodies so ultimately all of us can safely take the vaccine hopefully this would have cleared the confusion regarding these deaths following vaccines if you like this video kindly share it among your friends and relatives if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel till we meet again bye